Welcome viewers. Today's video is the review of the X96 Max Plus, one of the highly anticipated TV boxes for 2020 and is the second release of the first model that was released in early 2019. This is the S905X3 model, and if it's as good as its previous version, then we are looking at a really good mid-range TV box. But there's only one way to find out. So stay tuned, a full review is up next. So I'm back, and this is the box that it comes in. They left absolutely no information on the box about its hardware specs, so it creates a bit of suspicion about the box. And without further ado, I will do a quick unboxing. So this is what's inside the box. You have the Max Plus TV box itself. You get this infrared remote control. 1 HDMI cable. A 5 volts 2 amps DC power adapter. And a user's manual. And now look at its design and input out peripherals. The housing is made of plastic with the H96 Max Plus logo printed to the top. To the rear, you have one HDMI port, one Ethernet LAN port, one optical audio port, one audio video port, one IR extender port, and a DC power input jack. To the side, you have a USB 3.0 port, one USB 2.0, and a microSD card reader. It's blank to the other side. To the front, you have an LED clock display. And below the box you have some cooling vents. So it's about that time I set it up on my 4K TV and capture card and continue. So the setup process is pretty basic. And when you start up the box, you will see this very smooth running startup animation for a few seconds, followed directly by the launcher. So this is the launcher of the X96 Max Plus and it has not changed from its previous model, it has a horizontal scrolling main apps panel, with the ability to rearrange apps. It comes with a shortcuts bar at the top for adding apps by simply clicking on the add button and selecting which apps you would like to add or remove. This launcher has a voice search feature that is supposed to work with AirMouse and touchpad keyboards that has a voice search mic feature, but unfortunately this feature does not work. Another downside of this launcher is that it does not come with a navigation bar or status bar for easy navigation with mouse pointers. Features of this firmware include. Under Droid settings you have 4K display resolution up to 2160p at 60Hz. Dolby Vision, with the option to set the priority between video and graphics. Screen Position Settings HDR Display Settings Digital Audio Settings, with the option to select the audio output medium. HDMI CEC settings Power key options And picture color adjustment settings Under the device preferences area you have your core system settings, and under sound settings you have your audio options to manually enable Dolby Audio, Dolby Atmos, and DTS audio features. In the apps section they have pre-installed the AirScreen app, app installer, Chrome browser, wireless updates, two file browsers, KD Player, Miracast, Movie Player, Netflix, the Google Play Store, and YouTube. I will now install my usual set of apps needed to complete my review and continue. To start this segment I will test the ability to change wallpapers. This firmware allows for the changing of wallpapers, but on the default homepage the wallpaper cannot be changed. 
I installed the menu button alternative navigation bar app and the snowball notifications bar app. The menu button app works okay, but the snowball app doesn't work. When it comes to alternative launchers, the X96 Max Plus is compatible. I installed the ADW Launcher 2 which is the most popular alternative launcher that is compatible with the S905X3 chipset. It is fully functional with all features working, like drag and drop shortcuts, and long click menu pop-up. Let's look at its system and hardware information. The manufacturer of this box is Droid Logic, and the model is the X96 Max Plus 2. It comes with 4GB of DDR4 RAM, and 64GB of internal storage from which this is the remainder. The Bluetooth version is 4.0, indicated by the 4 Plus, and I will connect a gamepad to this later in the video. The CPU is the Quad-Core ARM Cortex-A55 CPU running up to 1.9GHz in 32-bit mode. The CPU is the Mlogic S905X3, and it is configured with 32-bit ABIs. The display is powered by the ARM Mali G31 processor, with a refresh rate of 60Hz and open GLES version 3.2 which is really good for gaming. Under network, it shows that the box has dual band 2.4 and 5GHz Wi-Fi support. Under Android information, it shows that the box is running on Android 9 operating system, and it also shows that the box is rooted. Under thermal information, it shows that the box is running between 40 and 60 degrees Celsius under normal operation, and we will monitor to see how high it increases during treaty gaming. The box comes with codecs for playing 4K videos, and I will test its Dolby features in a moment. And that's it for system and hardware information, and let's see how it does in the benchmark segment and where it fits on the rankings chart. For your information, the Google Play Store is open and unrestricted, so you can install all your apps without issues. The first benchmark score I have is the results from the A1 SD Bench app that measures memory and internal storage read and write speeds. The results show that the X3 Mini has a RAM copy speed of 3266 MB per second. The internal storage has a read speed of 120 MB per second and a write speed did not give a reading. These results are good scores and should place well on the chart. Next is the results of the Wi-Fi and LAN speed test. I am happy to report that the X96 Max Plus 2 has maximum upload and download speed on both the Wi-Fi bands and on the LAN port. My internet package is 100 megabits per second, and this is one of the few boxes that maxes out on all connection types. Next is the result of the Antutu benchmark. The Antutu benchmark is the benchmark that I use to place TV boxes on my rankings chart, and in this test the X96 Max Plus got a score of 77,997. This score is in the higher bracket on the chart, and we will see where it ranks in a moment. The next bit of results is the scores of the Geekbench 4 CPU benchmark. The X96 Max Plus got a score of 804 single-core, and 2,227 multi-core. These are also some really good scores and they will augur well on the chart. And my final benchmark scores are the scores of the GPU graphics benchmark. In this test the X96 Max Plus got a score of 5599 in the Ice Storm Extreme test, and 521 in the Slingshot test. These results are one of the best in the mid-range category as you will see in a moment. So after entering the scores, the X96 Max Plus 2 placed at position number 6 in reference to Antutu benchmark scores, and this makes it the best performing mid-range TV box I've reviewed thus far. This chart is available on my website in full spreadsheet format where you can interact with it and compare various scores, see the link in the description area. So that was the hardware and benchmark segment, and I now move on to its entertainment features. To begin this segment I will first check to see if the box is rooted. The app shows that the box is rooted, running on Android 9 operating system. While this is great news for some users, it does not come with a root switch feature to facilitate users who would like to turn it off. Also a gentle reminder to those users who would try to install or update the SuperUser app that it is not wise to do so, as it will brick your box and put it into a permanent boot loop that only a flash of the firmware can fix. The DRM information shows that the box has Google Widevine Level 3 and no HDCP protection. 
This means that premium streaming services like Netflix and Amazon Prime Video will only show in basic 480p quality. So just to confirm the DRM information, here I have the pre-installed version of Netflix and it works out of the box, but its highest resolution is basic 480p. The same applies to Amazon Prime Video and other premium paid streaming services. Android TV version of the YouTube app comes pre-installed, but it has to be updated to the latest version. This is done easily on any one of the APK app stores, and you have YouTube videos up to 4K quality. Let's now take a look at how it plays 4K videos in HDR format. And only a win for Barca would be enough because it would give them the same number of points as Atletico. But the head-to-head -head goal difference is what counts in the case of a tie on points. The mosaic of the Camp Nou and the Barcelona hymn being sung as referee Mateo Loof prizing presence on the bench as well. So as you just saw that was a perfect run on those videos, and the HDR icon appeared on my TV even though you cannot see it, as it is not displayed on my capture card. 
I will now test for Dolby Atmos and DTS audio pass-through on the HDMI and optical audio ports. Executioners, judges. Welcome to the inside of your head. is the left channel. And now I test the optical audio port. This is 
So the results show that you have Dolby Atmos and DTS audio on the HDMI and optical audio ports, however, it does not have Dolby True HD. I also tested it on the Kodi Media Player and the results were the same. For my final demonstration I have connected my Bluetooth gamepad and I will now play some Android games to test for rendering quality, keymapping capability, and overheating. It's because the sense of competition is so good, but in the cup, it's not always about performance, it is all about result. Yeah, and I think there are some players, certain characters, that can handle cup competitions better, it suits them more. I just wonder which side has got those characters. It's going to be a goal, surely! And it's a penalty. And that's a brilliant goal, well taken. The games played really well and the rendering was of a high quality. Keymapping apps worked with both my gamepad and keyboard and mouse, and the temperature rose to about 65 degrees Celsius, but there was no dangerous overheating. In summary, the new X96 Max Plus is surely one of the best TV boxes for 2020 in the mid-range category, but similar to most boxes, it comes with its own drawbacks. The previous model started the same way early last year, and then they released a firmware update that fixed most of the issues including a navigation bar. So I wait to see if this is the case with this new model. The box is fast, clocked at 1.9 GHz on S905X3 hardware. The benchmarks are high. You have max speed on both Wi-Fi bands and on the LAN port. The box is rooted. It plays 4K videos really well. It has Dolby Vision and HDR display. It has Dolby Atmos and DTS.